Hi. You are mute. <laughs> there we go. How are you, Ella? Uh, I'm good. Oh, sorry. This is my uh, boss name. Oh, and your oh, name see. is also Exactly. Wrong. And I'm trying to rename myself, but I don't know that I can do that here. Let uh, me try that again. Uh, it doesn't look like I can... I remember Trang saying that when we when we dial in that my name will appear as Trang and I can't <laughs> change that. Isn't that a shame? Um, that's okay. Could you please type your names and I will ch change it for you? Oh, thank you. Yes, of course. Absolutely. I'll type it to Ella. Hi, Catherine. I don't know how to spell your name correctly. My name shows correctly. Yeah, um, it's all right. That's... Yep, that that's perfect. Please. It's just mine that needs to be changed. So I've, I've sent that through to you in your in the chat there, Ella. Okay. Oh, sorry, your name's not Ella. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's my right. name is not Ella as well. Let me change okay. my name. Okay, okay, thank you. So my name Do is... I want light on, light off? Light off's good. Light off. Let me... Okay. Oh, no, I've, I've got to go light on. <laughs> Who knows? It's a weird time of day because it's almost dark outside and so the light's changing. Yeah. Um, Chris, have you got Catherine, a PowerPoint? I do. And I thought I might share that straight away. Thank you. I'm so <laughs> unprepared. I'm so sorry. Don't you worry. We are going to be, we're going to be good. Who can share? I'm going to say just, oh no, I'll say only host to who can share, who can start sharing when, yep, blah, blah, blah. Okay, why is that not working? Only host. You look so, so white, <laughs> Chris. Yes, unfortunately, it's got something to do with my... Here, let me try something. It's all good, Chris. You know, you're, you're a white man. It's okay. I am a white man. I just got to roll with it. Yeah. Hey! Now, advanced sharing options. Let me just try something again here because that has not started working. All participants, only host. Okay, well, why can't I? Why can't I actually do anything beyond that point? Hang on for a sec. Ah, oh, there we go. That's the reason. Oh, Chris, what did I have to say about a prize again? So we have a couple of prizes, um, Trang, we have up to five prizes to give away. And what we want to do, Catherine, this can be all done quite sort of uh, spontaneously, yep. but um, ideally for people that are engaged in the process of what we're and doing. Who's going to choose who gets the prizes? That can be us. All right. I'm going to give you that job, Chris. Yeah, that's fine. No worries. No worries. And if there's somebody you would like to have it awarded to, just pipe up and we'll, we'll do that. Oh, good. Yeah. Okay. So, Cathy, excuse that. That was a, we're, we're, we're on track now. We're ready to go. Um, and I know we've got a few more minutes before we begin. Um, but you should know that Catherine and I have done this on uh, a number of occasions. We're expecting the session to take, I would say, around about, 25 to 30 minutes and then we'll have a, about 10 minutes for uh, the questions and answers so chris we're gonna have to sort of speed through right yes to a degree i think we will Catherine. we yep. will we will okay because sometimes 30 to 35 we'll see how we go 30 to 35 yep. now are we expecting to see are we expecting to see questions come in via chat? Kathy? Yeah, will will students be able to use chat? Yes, the student can use the chat box. Okay, good. Okay, so mm, good. I need to. I have to get out of this for a second, guys. Won't be a moment. So the agenda will be like Kathy will start with uh, a brief introduction about VN talent, and then to. Uh, I will continue with a brief introduction about Deacon, and then okay. this will be your session. Okay, all good. Yep. So do you, 
do you have any like a uh, Kahoot games or the quiz for the student? Mm -hmm. mm. Lots. <laughs> it's very great. active. There is no relaxing in this session. We're gonna work students hard. <laughs> That's great. Yeah. Um, no, I think she asked if you have Kahoot quiz during the session. I think we, you don't have, yeah. No, no Kahoot quiz, but we have an activity for students. Yeah. And plus, if they have their mobile phone, we also have a little quiz for them to do. Yeah. Yep. So we uh, have like uh, 90 students that register for this. However, let, let, let's see how many students will yeah. show up. Yeah. All good. Oh, good. It can be five students, 500 students. Doesn't matter. It's all good. We'll make it work. Yes. Hey, Chris, one thing I mm. will do when we get to that slide about just in the beginning, what do you want to be when you grow up? I will throw it into chat um, and I'll do that thing where I ask you to read out the answers and then fake some if there aren't any. Um, yeah, yeah, that's that's entirely fine. Let's try yep. that. No worries. I'm just trying to figure out how to um just Ooh. display my slideshow on one screen i need some color look how white i look oh look red <laughs> you look lovely <laughs> enough <laughs> look how quickly that turns red <laughs> <laughs> hmm. how are you two Hello? Yeah, so far it's okay. So far it's okay. Good. Yeah, very, I mean, like this activity from Chang doing Big V and Talent, I'm very proud of her. Yeah, she does so well for on session so far. Yeah. Good. Thank you. Mm. <laughs> we so, so far it's so good. Yeah, so far so good. Uh, Kathy, so you have the file to share the student, right? Uh, just when we start, you can upload it here once again, just in case some people haven't received it yet. Uh huh. That is okay. So uh, I will send in a chat box. Is that okay? Yep. Yeah, thank Let you. Let me see. Uh, we'll also show it on the screen as well. So, hmm. yeah. Catherine, can you please let me know what you can see uh, at the moment, what I'm sharing? Beautiful PowerPoint, exactly okay. as it should look. Excellent. Just flick That's to really the next good. slide so I can double check what comes next. Oh, good. Okay. Yeah. Actually, can Excellent. you just flick through and show yes. me the next few? Absolutely. Dun, dun, dun. Yeah, next one. That one. Okay, good. Just wanted to know where that was coming. Okay, good. No good, worries. Good. Yeah. Yep. Um, where do you, do you have this on our team site somewhere, Chris? Uh, not this particular version. Okay, I was just wondering. Do you want me to I drag can... it in there? Uh, yeah, I'll wing it. I'll, I, I think I'll you're work so out where we're at. good at winging it. You're so <laughs> good at winging it. You'll be fine. And we've we've done this uh, so often. I know that you. I, I know the timing. Yeah, I can okay. always feel when it's going to be good. Tell so me no if worries. we're going you... too slow or too fast. No worries. Well, I mean. I don't know. What have we got? We've got a couple of those exercises, Catherine. We've got so the. Maybe for me to know, we start in theory at six o'clock our time. Yeah. We want to be wrapped up by, is it 6.45 or 6.50 by the time it gets to us? Trang, I think we've got until 6.50, don't we? Yes, I think 6.50 will be okay. Okay. Can All right, good. Now? That helps. Yep. So that's a bit of leeway, Catherine. Yep. You know, this could go for 35 minutes, could go for yep. 40 at a stretch. Yep. All good. <coughs> oh, I'm checking that it is only possible for me to share a picture, not a file like the personal branding file that you sent me down. That's okay, because I'm pretty sure, Chris, can you just flick along? We do have the slide with all the words, right? Uh, yes, we do. We do. Yeah, it's I'll, okay. I'll just, I'm going to flick along. I think we can share the file here, Katie. There it is. There it is, yep. just in case we have it. Yep. That's that's a great idea. I mean, if you wish to share the file via this, that would be perfect. Uh, Katie, are you, able, are you able to do that? Uh, I shared the file to all the students already, but like okay. Jang is worried that some student might miss it. So sure, we would sure. like to send it in the chat box, but it's not allow me to send the file. 
Uh, uh, okay. I, I think I can do it. Uh, just give me a second. Wait, wait. Uh, I think if we are on good now, uh, Cathy, you can let the student in and play the clip for them while waiting. Hmm. Okay. Are you able to share that file, Trang? Do you know? Uh, yep. Just, just give me a second to find it. No file. problem. No, yeah. shall do. Shall do. Otherwise, I can dig it out and share it from here. Yep. Okay. I'm admitted all the students. They are joining now. Mm. Fantastic. So I'm going to share a screen or the video clips about Deakin University. Yeah. Okay. Chris, do you need to stop sharing? I don't know. Trang, would you like me to stop sharing? I think you have to stop sharing. So okay, sure. Can start. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Catherine. <laughs> hey. Hello, everyone. I'm going to go live on our fan page. Yeah, thank you, Ella. Maybe my books and a nice quiet place. Oh, and a cup of coffee. You can see the fire on the network, right? That's wonderful. I study outside as much as I can. All I need is my books and a nice quiet place. Oh, and a cup of coffee. I think everyone needs an outlet. For me, it's about capturing the beauty around me. I see the world in black and white. I want to express myself. This place lets me imagine. The path to follow is totally my own. It's an open door that leads to infinity. I've just got to chase it. It's time to get there. I think everyone needs an outlet. For me, it's about capturing the beauty around me. I see the world in black and white. I want to express myself. This place lets me imagine. The path to follow is totally my own. It's an open door that leads to infinity. I've just got to chase it. It's time to get there. I 
think everyone needs an outlet. For me, it's about capturing the beauty around me. I see the world in black and white. to be that is a question I want to express myself this place lets me imagine the path to follow is totally my own it's an open door that leads to infinity I've just got to chase it Time to get there. I study outside as much as I can. All I need is my books and a nice quiet place. Oh, and a cup of coffee. I think everyone needs an outlet. For me, it's about capturing the beauty around me. I see the world in black and white. To be or not to be, that is a question. I want to express myself. This place lets me imagine. The path to follow is totally my own. It's an open door that leads to infinity. I've just got to chase it. It's time to get there. I can you mute Katie? I'm so sorry, my bad. Hi, good afternoon, everyone. Uh, so is it 3 p.m. right now? So all of the students are joining and it is our pleasure to be here and to see all of you here. Thank you so much for spending your time and be here with us. So uh, today we are having uh, Ms. To, Ms. Zhang, the representative of Deccan University in Vietnam. And we also have Mr. Chris Trott and Ms. Catherine, who will deliver our today lessons. Okay, that would be really wonderful because we also have another 60 students on joining with us today. So that really rates. Okay, so uh, my name is Katie. I'm a... Uh, VN talent consultants, okay, a, a little bit slow, but <laughs> okay, right now I will start my presentation first, and then uh, Ms. To or Ms. Trang will introduce about Deccan University, and then Mr. Chris and Ms. Karen will introduce, uh, will teach our lessons, so that, that we are going to have today, okay. Uh, for now, I'm going to speak in Vietnamese in order to uh, faster. Uh, sorry, Chris and Karen, if you have any convenience for this. <laughs> okay. Okay. Uh, hello, tất cả mọi người. Thì nãy giờ nói tiếng Anh rồi. Bây giờ thì uh, chị sẽ bước vào phần giới thiệu về công ty VN Talent một cách thật là nhanh chóng bằng tiếng Việt. Nếu như mà trong quá trình chị nói mà có cái phần nào uh, quá nhanh hoặc là khó hiểu hoặc là tín hiệu mạng chưa tốt thì mọi người đừng ngại là hãy cứ nhấn vào chat box để chị có thể chậm lại nha. Rồi, uh, ngày hôm nay thì chúng ta sẽ có các phần như trên màn hình đang show ra. Đầu tiên chị sẽ giới thiệu về công ty VN Talent. Sau chị Trang hoặc là chị Thu là đại diện tuyển sinh của trường Deakin University tại Việt Nam sẽ giới thiệu về trường Deakin và sau đó thì lớp học của chúng ta sẽ bắt đầu à, rồi 
Vậy thì VN Talent là ai? Uh, VN Talent là một công ty tư vấn du học và hướng nghiệp uh, nằm tại thành phố Hồ Chí Minh địa chỉ cụ thể là ở Trần Quang Diệu phường 14 quận 3 sau này nếu như mà bạn nào có muốn sang công ty thì có thể ghé địa chỉ này để gặp chị ok rồi thì công ty hiện tại đang có tổng cộng là ba loại giấy tờ thì những cái giấy tờ này sẽ đảm bảo cho VN Talent hợp pháp trong suốt quá trình làm việc với các bạn cũng như là đảm bảo cái quyền lợi cho các bạn học sinh khi làm việc với VN Talent nếu như các bạn quan tâm về các chương trình du học cũng như là các cái hội thảo các lớp học trải nghiệm tương tự như thế này thì các bạn có thể theo dõi uh, website của VN Talent nha, hoặc là Facebook hoặc là liên hệ qua email của VN Talent để được cập nhật nha Sorry mọi người cập nhật <cười> Rồi, uh, bây giờ thì chúng ta sẽ nói cụ thể hơn là hướng nghiệp và du học là gì Trong trường hợp nếu như mà các bạn học sinh tham gia lớp học ngày hôm nay có bạn nào cảm thấy là à mình không biết tính cách của mình sẽ phù hợp với ngành nghề nào cũng như là không biết là ngành nghề đó sẽ học gì và tiềm năng của ngành nghề đó trong tương lai ra làm sao thì các bạn có thể liên hệ với VN Talent để được hướng nghiệp và ngoài ra thì VN Talent còn là đơn vị tư vấn du học thì nói về tư vấn du học chắc là mọi người cũng biết là uh, sẽ là học ở một cái nước nào đó khác nhưng mà cụ thể là mình làm gì ok VN Talent sẽ là đơn vị hỗ trợ cho các bạn về việc tư vấn đất nước và tư vấn trường dựa theo nguyện vọng của bản thân các bạn cũng như là gia đình mong muốn ví dụ như có những bạn thì sẽ quan tâm về xếp hạng của trường nè có những bạn thì quan tâm là khả năng tài chính của em chỉ có nhiêu đây thôi và em chỉ nhiêu đây thôi đó hoặc là có những bạn thì sức khỏe của em không chịu được khí hậu lạnh đó thì vn Talent sẽ tùy theo từng cá nhân từng gia đình mà tư vấn cho các bạn về trường và đất nước phù hợp Ngoài ra thì VN Talent còn sẽ hỗ trợ các bạn trong việc sinh trường và sinh học bổng nếu như các bạn đạt hồ sơ, đạt yêu cầu của trường thì VN Talent sẽ dịch thuật hồ sơ, nè sắp xếp hồ sơ, nộp hồ sơ lên hệ thống hoặc là chuẩn bị cái tâm lý cho các bạn để làm thế nào mà phỏng vấn với lại trưởng khoa của trường được tự tin nhất chẳng hạn. Đây. Và ngoài ra thì sinh trường thành công rồi Chọn được đất nước rồi Thì chắc chắn không thể thiếu được cái khâu là xin visa Để đi du học Thì VN Talent cũng sẽ là đơn vị hỗ trợ các bạn Trong việc xin visa hay còn gọi là xin thị thực Thì sắp xếp hồ sơ nè Luyện phỏng vấn Tất cả sẽ được VN Talent hỗ trợ và ngay khi mà các bạn đã đi du học rồi thì VN Talent vẫn sẽ đồng hành và hỗ trợ cùng các bạn trong suốt thời gian đó. Ví dụ như là khi mà các bạn vừa xuống đất nước Úc đi chẳng hạn để học tại trường Deakin University thì VN Talent sẽ hỗ trợ đặt taxi đi từ sân bay về trường để mà các bạn cảm thấy không có lạc lỏng nè. Rồi ví dụ như tới lúc mà các bạn tốt nghiệp trường Deakin chẳng hạn thì VN Talent sẽ hỗ trợ bố mẹ làm hồ sơ để xin visa sang làm lễ tốt nghiệp cùng với các bạn đó đó là một số cái việc về tư vấn du học rồi tiếp theo đó thì chúng ta sẽ cùng sang slide tiếp theo ok có một số bạn hình như là rớt và đang vào lại hay sao đó nhưng mà bị đứng cái slide rồi rồi thì để thực hiện tốt được cái công tác Tư vấn du học và hướng nghiệp thì VN Talent có khoảng hơn 700 đối tác từ khắp các nước nước khác nhau. Thì phần này mọi người có thể xem thêm tại website để tiết kiệm thời gian. Và đây là một số visa đã thực hiện thành công. Hy vọng rằng trong thời gian tới sẽ có thêm hình ảnh visa của các bạn trên đây nữa nha. Rồi, à, đúng tiếc rồi mọi người. <cười> mọi người thông cảm chờ một xíu nha. Có thể là do đường truyền mạng hay sao đó mà nó không chuyển slide. À. Hmm. Rồi, à, ngoài ra thì VN Talent còn thực hiện các chuyến đi thực tập và thực tế Thì hy vọng là sau khi mà tình hình uh, dịch COVID của chúng ta kiểm soát tốt Thì VN Talent có thể đồng hành cùng các bạn ở các nước khác nhau để đi thực tập hoặc là thực tế để có thêm kiến thức Rồi, à, và một cái điều rất là đặc biệt của ngày hôm nay đó chính là tất cả những bạn học sinh đang tham gia chương trình ngày hôm nay sẽ có cơ hội để được tư vấn trực tiếp một một à, là một mình học sinh với đại diện trường là trường Deakin University là chị Trang hoặc chị Thu sẽ hỗ trợ các bạn trong việc là tìm hiểu về trường, tìm hiểu về ngành hoặc tìm hiểu về học bổng. Thì đường link đăng ký sẽ được gửi sau lớp học ngày hôm nay Và quan trọng nhất đó chính là các bạn phải thật lắng nghe, thật là chú ý Tiết học của thầy Chris và cô Therin Để mà có thể tham gia và nhận được những cái phần quà từ trường Deakin University 
Rồi, rất là hấp dẫn đúng không nào? Mm, okay, so uh, that's all for my presentation. So right now I would like to introduce um, Miss Trang or Miss Thu to give a presentation about Deccan University. Thank you so much. Cảm ơn rất là nhiều, um, Cathy. Um, vậy thì bây giờ chị Thu sẽ share cái màn hình của trường đại học Deakin cho các bạn xem ha. Uh, cũng tương tự như là um, Cathy bên uh, chị sẽ làm thuyết trình rất là ngắn, rất là gọn khoảng 5 phút để giới thiệu cho các bạn một cái thông tin sơ lược về trường đại học của chúng ta nha. Uh, hình như là nó lại không share file được hay sao? Chờ chị một chút. Chị em mình hay bị trục trặc đường file này quá. <cười> Rồi hy vọng các bạn có thể thấy được rõ cái uh, uh, hình, hình ảnh các chị có thấy được không em? Dạ em thấy chị. Rồi tốt quá. Um, chào tất cả các bạn. Chị Thu là đại diện của trường Đại học Bi Kình và hôm nay sẽ có chị Thu và chị Trang ở văn phòng Việt Nam hỗ trợ cho các bạn ha. Thì trước khi mà chúng ta bắt đầu vào cái tiết học chị sẽ có những cái tóm tắt cỡ khoảng 5 phút thông tin về Bi Kình và lý do tại sao các em nên uh, có thể cân nhắc Đại học Bi Kình như một trong những cái sự lựa chọn khi mà đi du học ở Úc. Um, đầu tiên là về ranking của đi kình cũng như là đi kình là tên của ai thì chia sẻ với mọi người đi kình được mang tên của anh Fred đi kình đó là thủ tướng đời thứ hai của nước úc và ông cũng là một trong những người được tái đắc cử nhiều nhất bởi vì những cái cống hiến rất là vĩ đại dành cho quốc gia là nước úc và về ranking của chúng ta thì chúng ta nằm trong top một phần trăm những trường đại học tốt nhất ở trên toàn cầu và theo như cái bảng xếp hạng um, hai ngày trước đây thì chúng ta cũng nằm trong top chín mươi của nước úc trong cái bảng ranking mới nhất và với À, về cái chất lượng giảng dạy của chúng ta thì cũng sẽ nằm trong top à, à, 50 những trường đại học trẻ và đạt thành tựu. Đặc biệt là trong cái giai đoạn à, học tập này thì các em cũng biết là à, khi mà chúng ta lựa chọn một trường đại học ở Úc á, chúng ta cũng consider cái số lượng tổng sinh viên là bao nhiêu. Thì chúng ta có hơn 64.000 sinh viên hiện tại đang theo học của trường đại học Y Kinh. Đây là một con số rất là lý tưởng của nước Úc và chúng ta trong đó có hơn 16.000 sinh viên là sinh viên quốc tế đến từ hơn 130 quốc gia. Cho nên là nếu như các em lựa chọn học ở Đại học Bi Kình thì đây sẽ là một cái cơ hội để cho em có thể kết nối và làm quen được với lại bạn bè ở trên toàn cầu ha. Và về mảng về giảng dạy teaching online trong cái thời điểm này được coi như là một trong những phương án tạm thời thì chúng ta sẽ là hạng 8 toàn cầu và hạng đầu hạng nhất toàn nước Úc. Rồi chị qua uh, slide tiếp theo là một số những cái nhìn qua sơ bộ của trường đại học đi kình mà các em có thể coi qua ha thì chúng ta sẽ có dạy cả đi kình uni là dạy chương trình cử nhân dạy ở đi kình college là dạy, dạy chương trình về uh, dự bị đại học là foundation hoặc diploma và chúng ta cũng có julie là khóa, khóa tiếng anh nữa ha thì các em có thể thấy trường đại học đi kình giúp chúng ta về cái Bên cạnh cái vấn đề mà ranking học tập á, thì chúng ta cũng cần phải coi về cái student support. Thì mình hạng nhất toàn bang Victoria là cái thành phố, là cái cái bang mà cái trường mình đặt tại đây. Và chúng ta cũng là có rất là nhiều những cái hoạt động hỗ trợ cho sinh viên và được sự công nhận của quốc tế và được toàn cầu. Các em có thể thấy là rất là nhiều cái hạng nhất của chúng ta như là hỗ trợ sinh viên, rồi teaching quality của chúng ta cũng hạng nhất luôn ha. Và nhất là về hỗ trợ nghề nghiệp. Bởi vì cái việc quan trọng nhất của các em là khi các em học xong, các em phải tìm được job, thì những cái công việc mà đó thì Đại học Bi Kình có thể cam đoan sẽ mang tới những cái sự hỗ trợ um, toàn, toàn diện nhất cho tất cả các bạn. Bởi vì cái mục tiêu của trường là sẽ hướng tới cái việc là các em khi học tập sẽ không chỉ có kiến thức lý thuyết, mà em còn có cả những cái experience trong quá trình mấy em học để có thể trau dồi và phát triển từ kỹ năng mềm của các em soft skill cho tới là cái kinh nghiệm, cái trải nghiệm của các em trong tương lai và được kết nối với doanh nghiệp cho cái công việc mà như mong muốn của các em. Um, chị sẽ đi một cái slide nữa, đó là về cái location cho các bạn có thể xem qua. Thì đây là cái bản đồ nước Úc, thì Victoria là cái cái bang đây, chấm màu hồng của chúng ta ha thì chúng ta sẽ có campus tại Melbourne, Geelong và Warrnambool. Thì các em cũng có thể thấy theo cái luật visa mới của chính phủ Úc khi mà các em hoàn thành cái chương trình học tập tại nước Úc. Ví dụ, ở, hoàn thành chương trình cử nhân tại Melbourne, thì cái post study work visa của các em sẽ được ở thêm 2 năm ở Úc nữa. Ví dụ như học 3 năm cử nhân, được ở thêm 2 năm ở nước Úc nữa là 5 năm. Còn nếu em học ở Geelong hoặc Warrnambool thì em sẽ được ở tận 3 năm. Thì thành ra tổng thời gian học tập và ở nước Úc trải nghiệm làm việc là 6 năm ha. Về scholarship của Đại học Deakin thì chị cũng share với các em là trong năm 2021 và 22 
chúng ta sẽ có những học bổng 50% hoặc 100% của đó là học bổng của thầy hiệu trưởng là Vice Chancellor Scholarship. Chúng ta cũng có những suất học bổng 25 toàn phần hoặc là 20% toàn phần mà các em có thể cân nhắc nộp hồ sơ và sẽ được sự tư vấn từ phía các anh chị ở VN Talents ha, cho các study plans của mấy em nó toàn diện hơn. Và nếu như chúng ta học tập online thì chúng ta sẽ có một cái cơ hội khác là ngoài những cái học bổng này các em có thể lựa chọn thêm, ở lựa chọn một là những học bổng này hoặc là học bổng về cái COVID bursary là hỗ trợ tài chính trong quá trình học tập online ở giai đoạn này. Đặc biệt là chính phủ ở bang Victoria, những hồ sơ nào submit sau cái ngày 17 tháng 8 thì mình sẽ còn có cơ hội để lấy cái học bổng bắt quay nếu như các em đi với khóa Dewey là khóa tiếng Anh hoặc là khóa của Deakin College là dự bị đại học ha các em ha. Rồi, chị cảm ơn rất là nhiều ha là cho cái phần thuyết trình của chị à, trong 5 phút như cam đoan và bây giờ chị sẽ và mời uh, bạn Cathy sẽ tiếp tục ha. Over to you Cathy. Hey, thank you so much for your uh, short introduction. Okay, so now we are going to one of the most important parts. Okay, uh, please welcome Miss Catherine and Mr. Chris for their lesson. Hi everyone, and no Hi, pressure. Everybody. The most important <laughs> part. <laughs> okay, so welcome students today. We hope to have some fun. Um, we are going to make you work and do some good activities with us. Um, but we want you to smile and relax because we think this will be really valuable for your futures. So let's go, Chris. So introducing ourselves, that's me as a little girl. My name is Catherine, but you can call me Kat. And with me today is Chris. Say hi, Chris. Hi, hi, everybody. Great to see you. Yes, this is me as a little boy. I was about uh, seven years old and Kat, you'll remember this, but I wanted to be a zoologist when I grew up. I wanted to start my own zoo. Mm, well, I wanted to be a football player. As you can see by my costume, I had lots of brothers. So for me, it was sport, sport, sport when I was a little girl. But weren't we cute? So cute. Um, but today we are going to talk to you a little bit about your futures and we're going to talk to you about your careers. So next slide, Chris. Um, we are going to chat about what it is that you think you want to do in your future. It is a really hard question. When you're a little child, it's so easy to answer. When I grow up, I want to be a fashion model. I want to be a pilot. But when we get older, it's really difficult. How do you know what you want to do? We think you all know you want to study at university. So it's time to start thinking about which university and what should I study? Should I study business? Should I study engineering? Or could I study something creative in the arts? It's also time to think about jobs. I'm guessing your parents and your friends are saying, what job do you want to do when you get older? Mm. It is really, really confusing and a difficult question. But hopefully today, our activity might help you think about what you want to study at university and what kind of jobs you want to do in the future. So just relax. It's going to be easy and fun. Okay, so first question, when I grow up, I want to be a. In our chat function, I'm hoping some of you, can you open the chat and tell me when you were a little child, what did you want to do when you grew up? What kind of job? So if you can put in the chat, so for me, I wanted to be a football player. And then the next thing I wanted to do was I wanted to be a weather girl. I loved the weather. Um, so let's have a look. Do we have any answers coming through? We do. Singer, oh, we do. a teacher. Violin teacher or oh, princess. Uh, Very popular. Prin Fairy, model, prin te <laughs> teacher. Singer again, Catherine. Hang We're on, starting to see a trend. Can I just say a princess is a very good job? I like that one. <laughs> oh, look at that. Doctor, CEO, marine biologist, excellent. Mm. University professor, good, we should speak further. A hacker. Who wanted to be a hacker? Wow, that's a sign of the times. <laughs> that job didn't exist when I was a little kid. Doctors. Now I want to be a model more. Fantastic. Mm, a singer, artist. there you go. More, another singer. Hang on, oh, who wanted to be consultant? a spy? I love spy. <laughs> oh, yeah. But isn't there's it There's a lot of diversity, but there's some trend here, trends here, Catherine. I see singer a lot. There are some CEOs mm -hmm. and there are some outliers, i.e. spy, Superman, 
yes absolutely <laughs> you know Great the fun. one i the one i really like there is i wanted to be a doctor but i'm not good at science that's the same as me with weather i wanted to be a weather girl i love the weather but i am not good at science so i had to change a hero a designer so isn't it interesting when we are little children and people say to us what do you want to be when you grow up it is so easy I want to be a doctor, I want to be a hero, I want to be a manager, a singer, a superman. Then the older we get, when we're 15, 16, 17, 18, answering that question becomes a little bit difficult. There's a bit of pressure. Oh, princess is not a job. Or, you know, I want to be a fashion model. Mm, maybe maybe I don't look so good. <laughs> so the, it becomes really hard understanding what we want to do. So we're going to talk to you about future jobs and understanding what is natural for you and what your strengths are and what things are important to you in the kind of job that you do in your future. Um, but thank you for those answers. They're fabulous. So let's talk about work. If you are thinking of a future career and a job in Australia, or maybe America, or maybe Canada or England, Work culture is changing. So what we say now is that most people will change their job 17 times, maybe five completely different careers. When I think of my dad, he had one job for his entire career. But now for me, like I'm a 40, 46, 47 year old woman. And I think I've probably had maybe around about nine or 10 different jobs um, or oh, maybe 10 or 11 or 12, actually, um, in three very different environments. And this is normal. So we need to be adaptable. But is there one thing that is common in all of my jobs? What was one thing that was important? This is what we want to help you to understand to get ready for the future. So when we think about the future as well, our future is working anytime. So right now for me, it's not too late, 6.30 p.m., but we work around the world. We work around the clock, sometimes early morning, sometime late night. We work anywhere. All of us today are working from home. Um, normally, it is in an office, but it changes. Some of you might be in a cafe, so we have to learn to work anywhere. We are working from our mobile phones. We are working from laptops. Um, we know that our job future, it's not always up. Maybe we go sideways, maybe we go backwards, mm -hmm. but we need to collaborate and we need to keep on learning. So these are things that are really important for you. It's learning to understand what feels good to you, but how do you keep adjusting? So when I was a university student, there was no internet. Mm. Oh, everything was books in the library. <laughs> and then in my last year of university, internet came and we got an email address. And I was so confused. Why would I write an email when I can just talk to someone? Now, email is old. We just text message. We instant message. So we have to be adaptable. So that's your future. So let's have a look. So today, we're going to talk about your strengths, your weaknesses, the things that come really easy for you and how we can talk about them. Um, we're also going to talk about values that are really important to you. So the things that are important um, for you as a person. So maybe, Chris, the next slide. Um, we're going to look at the, your passions, things that are important to you. We're going to look at experiences in your, in your life. And we're going to talk about your talents and your strengths. So many of you have heard of SWOT analysis, but we're going to have a little bit of fun talking about ourselves. All of this it makes up your brand, your personal brand, who you are as a person. Why is this important? In Australia, when you apply for a job, or I'm, I'm also American, I spent 15 years working in America, it is really important to communicate who you are, what is important to you, what values you have. You have to have a connection to the company that you apply to. Do your values match their values? So learning to speak about the things that are important to you is really important. So Chris, what are we going to do today? Let's have a look at our activities for today. We are going to make a personal statement. Now, before we do this, and Chris, I'm guessing my next slide is a lot of words. Correct. So 
before we start activity number one, I'm going to hand to Chris because Chris, do we have some prizes today? <laughs> we certainly do. We love to award prizes during our presentations. We can't tell you how many just yet, but what we can tell you is this. We love energetic, engaged participants in our sessions. We love to know that you're getting something out of what we're presenting to you. Um, perhaps that you're learning it. Um, perhaps you can share with us uh, how you're doing on perhaps what the results are of this workshop. And for those of you that are brave and confident enough to do that, perhaps we've got a prize waiting for you. Okay, so let's get started. We are going to do two activities and here comes the first one. Now, the first one, you might need pen and paper or your phone, anything. We have given you a list of so many words that can describe you as a person. So, there are really positive words. There are difficult, challenging words. There are not so good words. All of these attributes or personality types could be us. So when I look at this list, I can see around about 20 different words that might describe me. Maybe 25 words, so many of them. Um, so I am going to give you a challenge now, and it's a very difficult challenge. Um, I'm guessing not everyone has a paper print out of this. I want you to please choose three words that you think best describe you. So try and choose three words. Take some time. There's lots of difficult words there. I'm going to give you two minutes. How does that sound, Chris? Two minutes? I, th I think two minutes is fine for three words. Two minutes. Pick your three words. And if anyone wants to be super brave, you can write your three words in the chat. I will start with mine when I remember them. There's some great results coming through on the chat, Catherine. Mm. Kind, sensitive, studious, detailed, hardworking, analytical. Oh, I need someone detailed, hardworking and analytical to work with me. <laughs> Who are you? I want you. <laughs> oh, this is so easy for all of you. I'm amazed. Oh, quiet, good listening and friendly. I want you to be my best friend. Mm. Empathetic is a good one. Mature, intelligent, practical. Nice. Wow. I am amazed at how easy you are finding this. Look at all these answers. Artistic, tolerant and quiet. What a lovely combination. That is just so beautiful. Um, artists are really, really tolerant people, I think, and inclusive. So I love that. Ambitious, supportive, and knowledgeable. Lovely. Cooperative, energetic, sociable. Hardworking, meticulous, self-confident. Oh, what a powerful combination. Caring, quiet, and resilient. That's just lovely. So we have some really, really beautiful, beautiful words coming through here. And I am really impressed by how easy you are finding it to pick three words. Um, like this is really remarkable. So we have so many answers there. I am absolutely blown away. Um, and some really interesting combinations, realistic, ambitious, and motivated. What a beautiful combination that one is. Like they go together, lovely. As does caring, quiet, and resilient. Caring, quiet, resilient. Absolutely, that caught my eye too, wonderful. Oh, empathetic, modest, and honest. What a beautiful combination. Um, mm. Like, so some really wonderful words. Okay, so I am going to give everyone an A plus, 100% <laughs> 
perfect, <laughs> perfect for that nice. activity. So Very generous. Easy. I can just relax. Okay. So you should all have your three words. So what I want you to do now is just stop and keep those three words and we are going to come back to them. All right, so we will use them in about 10 minutes time. So just relax for a little bit. We are now going to do activity number two. Is that correct, Chris? Correct. Aha. So we're going to have a little bit of fun now. We are going to discover what your creative type is. Now, Chris and I were playing on the internet as everyone does, and we discovered this fun test by Adobe. Does everyone know Adobe? The people who make the PDFs, the wonderful creative Adobe, they have this free test that everyone can do. And it identifies your creative personality or your creative, as I call it, superpower. What is your special creative type? So there are eight different types that you could be. You could be the artist, the thinker, the adventurer, the maker, Definitely not me. The maker is the one who actually does stuff. I just talk. I never do. Um, the producer, the dreamer, the innovator, the visionary. So we're going to do this little test with all of you now. So you will need your phone or internet to do this. So Chris, what is the website that we go to here? Can you talk? This? And I'm, I love that students are already guessing what they think they are. I know. Is Isn't it wonderful? Fun. Just wait. Just wait. You so really need to do this exercise. You are going to do so a test and discover, right, Chris? Go for it. Exactly. So here it is here. Um, head to this link. Um, there's the QR code if you need it. And you have around five about, minutes. I think we said five or six minutes. Catherine, are you happy with that? Yep. Okay, excellent. Well, we're going to assume that you're already, uh, you've already opened that website and you are commencing that test. And so we will see you here yes. in about six minutes time. Let's go back to the link, Chris. And students, sure. this will take you about five minutes. There's about 10 or 12 questions you have to answer. And at the end of the test, it will tell you what your creative type is. And there's some really fun little questions there. Ooh, so if you've finished, and it looks like Katie has already finished and she's a thinker, um, if you've finished, you can pop your answer in the chat. And maybe, Katie, I'm going to ask you, was your answer thinker what you thought it would be or are you surprised? Um, I, I'm pretty surprised because I'm the thinker. I think <laughs> I would be the one who dreamers or something like this. Yeah. Good. Did you take this test? I have taken the test and um, I am, there's two answers. It depends when I do it. Sometimes I am the adventurer, mm. but most times I am the producer. Producers, oh. I make things happen. <laughs> mm. So we'll talk That's about crazy. them in a little bit, yeah. So I'm just think, the thinkers just li sit down and think, that's all. <laughs> you got a strategic mind. It's important. Mm. Yeah, that's great. Let's see. Let's see uh, what student gets. Mm -hmm.
we have another a maker. Here come our visionaries. Oh my goodness, visionary. <laughs> I think a lot of visionary in Vietnam. <laughs> <laughs> I should remember our session with SIC and their own visionary, most of them. Wow. How good does it feel when your answer is the same? As expected, I'm a dreamer. <laughs> Ooh, an innovator. Visionaries, visionaries, artists. Oh my God, a thinker. Who should be surprised by being a thinker? <laughs> Thinkers are really important. The producer. Oh, mm. Yanni is like mm. me. Me and Yanni, producers. Visionaries. So this is a fun little test. You can also do it with your family members or your friends. <laughs> See if you can guess what your mum and dad is or your brother or sister. <laughs> it's funny. People who are adventurers are always I thought surprised. I'm a thinker and I am a thinker. I love that, Catherine. <laughs> Fantastic. No, that is a great answer. <laughs> uh, hmm. So maybe we'll do one more minute and you can fast track through the little animations. Dreamer adventurers. Hmm. It's funny, the adventurers are often surprised they're adventurer, but they shouldn't be because <laughs> They're always open to new things. Um, so, oh, look at all the dreamers coming through. And maybe it's not surprising the dreamers sometimes take time because they're going slow through as a dreamer. Hmm. I think I'm an artist, but I'm an adventurer. So what do you think, Chris? Should we have a little chat about these? Sure, sure. Why not? Absolutely. Okay. So on the Adobe website, you can look at more details about each of these different creative types. But just as um, a, a quick little overview that I like to think about it, the artist for me is someone who is just able to look at things differently and look at the world through a different lens creatively. Um, you are very much viewing things as to how they'll connect with people. The thinker, no surprise there. I want someone who can think strategically, who's really looking deep and analysing situations. I always want a thinker to be around me. The adventurer, go crazy. 
try everything, no risk, let's just go for it and give it a go, very positive, optimistic. The maker, really important one for me, and a maker is someone who actually produces, who does the work. So it's one thing to have an idea, but you need to be a maker to actually do it. Someone who can actually produce. The producer, this is me. For me, a producer is someone who brings people together and, and has that ability to direct traffic and make things happen. So as an example, if I want to catch up with my family or friends on the weekend, I'm always the one suggesting it. Hey, let's meet here at this time. Let's get together. The producer makes things happen. The dreamer, oh, our favorite best friends. We all love dreamers. They just are able to delight all of us in their ability to bring people together and think outside of the box. The innovator, critical for looking at things differently and coming up with ideas that we can all follow. And the visionary, of course, the big picture strategic thinker. So why are all of these important? I think it's great when you understand and do this little test and work out what kind of creative person you are. But when you think about your future job or your future study or even your schoolwork, I really love to make teams and groups of people with different type of creative types. Together, you become really powerful. Imagine if you are working on a project and all of you are visionaries. Who's going to do the work? Who's going to think strategically? <laughs> Who's going to make it happen? Um, likewise, if it's me as a producer with three other people who are producers, we're just giving orders. You do this. No, you do that. No, you do this. I want you to do that. So when we work together and understand our strength and how it matches with someone else who's different to us, it's when we become really powerful. So now we are going to move to activity number three. And this is, this is um, where we learn to speak about ourselves. So Chris, what would we like our students to do? Should we have a look at what's sure. next? Absolutely. Yep. Okay, so you wanna go for now Chris? Yeah, absolutely, Catherine, if you don't mind. So now it's time to uh, take a look at the notes that you kept with our previous activity, which was where you chose three of your attribute words. And now it's time to put those words into just one or two sentences about yourself. Catherine, would you like to give an example? Hmm. Okay, so if I use mine, I could say, um, my name's Catherine. Um, I'm an optimistic person who likes to collaborate with a lot of people um, and always find exciting things to do. Um, I am a bit of a producer. So typically when I work with um, groups of people, I like to make sure that everyone understands what the goal is and they are motivated to achieve that goal. I like to make things happen. I can do that because I'm an enthusiastic person. Fabulous. Oh, there you have it, audience. <laughs> <laughs> That's a professional at work. Catherine, I love hearing that from you. And I must say, it also reflects uh, very truly. Um, and so this is, of course, our challenge now for our audience, taking those three words, weaving them into one or two sentences about yourself. Tell us about your character while using those words that you found and that you identify with. So it's an important challenge to be able to do that. And what we've also found, haven't we, Catherine, during our presentations is people that are able to make those statements and take them right on board almost start to present themselves with a different level of knowledge and confidence. Mm. That's quite yeah. astounding. So Catherine, perhaps I can switch over to the next slide yep. just as one final example. Yep. So it's interesting when you go for a job interview or if you are applying to university, you have to write a personal statement about yourself. I don't want to know your hobbies. I don't want to know where you went on holiday. I don't want to know your exam results. I want to know what kind of person you are, what you value, and if you will fit with my business or my opportunity. So here's an example here. I am a motivated self-starter with a mature and responsible ap approach to tasks I undertake or any situation I'm presented with. I'm a final year communication student with internship experiences in digital media agency together with two years of customer service experience. I work well with others. I hold myself accountable to complete tasks on time. 
I am aiming to secure a graduate position in public relations. So this is an example of a, a statement about what that person is looking for. I would like you to please create two or three sentences describing yourself to a future university or a future job interview. Okay, so if you can try and create two or three sentences about yourself and you can put it into the chat, that would be amazing. And then maybe what we could also do, um, once some people have put this in the chat, we might ask if anyone wants to volunteer to unmute themselves and speak their sentences about themselves. So Chris, maybe back to the prior slide where we have the I have, I am, I. Sure thing. Oh, yes. So we already have someone who has popped in the chat. Can I raise my hand and say my two or three sentences? So for me, the answer is 100% yes, I would love you to. So I'm wondering, um, Katie or Trang or two, if you can, um, I can't see on my chat where the student is on the screen, but who have we got there? Yes, I think that uh, you can unmute yourself and speak. So then you will pop up in the screen. Yep. So can we see? Is it Pok Ang right, um, Duck? Oh, there you are. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's me. Um, Go. All right. Uh, first of all, am I audible? Yep. Yeah. Uh, sorry for a little bit of raining uh, in this one. So. Um, so I don't think it's the right analysis, but it's like this. I am analytical because I would love to spend time thinking about myself and how I can improve what I've been passionate about. I am dynamic for the fact that I give my best whenever I get up on a stage or I have, or I earn the mission to motivate the others. Uh, I am, and I am mature for the fact that I take time to, uh, to understand myself and, and to, to learn from my mistakes. Um, That's fantastic. That's really good. I especially love the last part, how you take time to learn about your mistakes. So thank you for that. That's really, really wonderful. I appreciate that. And let's see, who was our next student who asked? Is it uh, Vo? Vo? Oh, my. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you. My pronunciation. <sighs> Bowen, I think you can unmute yourself now. Talk right now. Yeah. Yep. Can, can I speak now? Okay. Um, I think I am an artistic because I love spending time drawing the views I like and I like drawing crazy characters that I imagine in my mind. And I also think I have a weird hobby, which is I like talking to kids and especially teenagers at my age to share stories and understand them more. That's really good. Thank you for that. And I, <laughs> I like, you know, what you described there, it's really easy for me to see you in a future job working in some kind of education setting. Um, you know, that energy and wanting to work with children is really lovely. So that was good. Thank you so much. Um, so let's see who's next there. Is it Nguyen? Nguyen Huy. Nguyen Huy. Yes. Wing Huing, could you please turn on your mic and share your opinion, please? Um, yeah. Uh, I, I'm sorry because my English is not too, uh, not good. Um, and maybe we'll 
makes you feel um yeah, I cannot this bit. It's okay. I, I am I think I am um visionary and because yeah I, I think my emergency is really really weird and and now uh, very variety uh, I am uh, ambitious, a uh, competitive human who respect everyone and their opinion point of view. Um, now I am work as um, a eleven grade of a uh, high school, and I want to be. Uh, you know, I think I have. Uh, I can. I have a good leadership, so I want to be a manager or startup. Yeah, I feel really excited about it. Yeah, so I good to hear. That's good, and your English is fantastic. Like I cannot say that in Vietnamese. So <laughs> you know, your English is amazing. So that was really good. And when you said that you were ambitious, yeah, you're raising your hand and saying, I want to participate. That's, that's ambitious. That's fantastic. Um, so Trang, who should we ask next to give an answer? Okay. So I just choose randomly because I, they raised the hand a lot. Okay. So how about Yenny? Yenny Nguyen. Yes. You can unmute yourself now. Okay. Hi, Yenny. Hi, Miss Jane. Hi. Oh, you have a cool classes there. <laughs> can I start? Yeah, yes, yes, please. I am optimistic and I always live with positive energy and I want to spread that energy to everybody uh, and I think I am motivated. I usually find motivation from people around me to move forward and make my dream become reality. I am extroverted. I love to communicate with other people and listen to their story. I am also adventurous. I love traveling. I always dream that someday I will travel to my favorite countries, such as Korea, Australia, Japan, or more. Thank you. Oh, that was fabulous. Thank so you, good. Yanni. That was really, really lovely. And maybe we've maybe got time for just one more. So if Trung, you wanted to select one more. Okay. Uh... We have some participants with raised hands. Uh, Kat Tung Wing. Yes, please. Uh, hi. Okay, so um, I reckon myself as an absolute ambitious person with numerous viewpoints on lots of aspects of life. So therefore, by, by and large, I'm not surprised to be considered as a visionary because I love hearing and sharing things uh, from a range of opinions. And in order to achieve my goals, I have to be bold enough to make my dreams happen. Furthermore, I would love to make other ambitions and desires occur. So being support supportive to everyone else to motivate them is also one of my personalities. Thank you. Oh, that is really lovely. Thank Fabulous. you. And I think um, I'm so impressed with the answers coming through. Even some of the descriptions in the chat are just amazing. Um, but why is this important? Okay, so when will you use this? So I've given you two examples. One might be when you're applying to university and you need a personal statement describing your motivations and your ambitions. The other one might be when you're thinking about a job. Okay, and what kind of job do I want to do? And how do I communicate 
my strengths to that future company. So when you think about what you want to study, if you are someone who was quite empathetic and caring and loved working with people, you want to think about studying study areas that complement that. That might be things in education. Um, it might be things with a real social responsibility and emphasis to them. If you're an analytic thinker, um, if you're someone who's quite disciplined and focused, then you might want to think about the kind of jobs that would support that really, really well. Um, but the next step, so you have this paragraph, when you have a job interview or when you are creating a personal statement, the next thing you need to do is give examples. You have to demonstrate this. So when I look at one of the examples here that says, I am always curious about things around me, which makes me an ambitious person because I want to try all different jobs and test my limits. For example, when I was in high school, I was the captain of the soccer team, the captain of this, and I did that, so I want an example. I am also a good listener because I would love to listen to everyone's stories and perhaps learn from their stories and share them. It's great. I am also very supportive because I believe that support and sympathy would do a great job when it comes to dealing with difficulty and changes. For example, during COVID, when it came to Vietnam, da, 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 da. So we need to learn to give an example that justifies all of this. So that's a lot of things that we've done today, but I, I'm going to give you homework because I'm a teacher. I feel like I need to give you homework. So you chose your three words to describe you and you know your creative type. I want you to ask your best friend or I want you to ask your mother or I want you to ask your father to choose three words to describe you and see if they match. Because it's interesting how you describe yourself, but do other people see you the same way? If you said, hey, dad, hey, mum, please pick three words to describe me. Isn't it interesting if they're the same or what happens if they're completely different? So learning to speak about yourself more than just your hobbies and your interests, but what is really important to you, what are your values, what are your strengths, is really, really important in helping you decide, well, what is it that I think I want to study? For me, I was a, a, a very sociable person, a positive person. I like to talk a lot and collaborate. <laughs> so for me, working in education was really important. The other things that were important for me was I love cultures. I love connecting with people from around the world. So again, education felt really natural and good for me. So start asking yourself for your strengths and the things that are important. What kind of job might that suit um, in the future? So that's our fun activity for today. I gave you some homework, which is to ask your mum and dad about this, um, how they would describe you and see if it matches. But I think we were going to have some prizes for today. So, uh, Trang, were you going to read out who, who earned a prize? If I could, I would give everyone a prize because you have been amazing. But Trang, who did you identify for a prize? Okay, thank you, Catherine. Yes, just like Catherine said, that all of you are so amazing, and we would love to give the prizes to all of you, but uh, we have some limits. <laughs> yeah, sorry, and uh, we have five winners for today. It's Huyen Yu, Ngọc Khánh Minh Lê, Nguyễn Huyền, Quốc Anh Nguyễn Đắc, and Jenny Nguyễn. Uh, please contact uh, VN Talent, and we will arrange the gift to send it to you. So maybe Chris, if we can stop sharing our slides so I can see sure. everyone um, or as much as everyone as possible. So that was just a very, very short exercise. I hope you had fun. We wanted to relax. Um, but learning to talk about yourself is really challenging and really difficult, um, but we hope you understand a little bit more about what your strengths are and have some fun tonight and ask your mum and dad, how would you describe me? And, you know, hopefully you describe each other the same way, but we'll let you know, we're going to finish there, but does anyone have any questions that they wanted to ask um, to Katie, to Chris, to me, um, or for Trung or two, you are welcome to unmute or type a chat there.
how come we have all these wonderful answers? And then when I say who has a question, we are suddenly shy. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, if you have any question, just uh, unmute yourself. Don't be shy. Yes, don't be shy. We are all friends. Please raise your hand. Yeah. Hi, Huying. Uh, can I ask all of you something? Um, uh, I am now. I am a co-founder of um a vocation club in high, in my school, and I just want to ask uh, how uh, uh, about your experience in the field because I think you you all have a type of vocation, so I want to ask. Yeah. So that's a good question, and can I just confirm what kind of uh, club was it that, that started? Did you pick that up, Katie? What kind of club she started? Uh, that club, um, I don't know. Is it uh is the right word? Is a vocational good good and seek club, and um, it was that this year. So it's like it's something that you created and you started for other students. Yeah, Ooh. um, because. I am a student too, and I, I just, I have no experience in this field, but I want to do something and I, I want to ask you about your experience. So uh, look, my advice, so I have one piece of advice in my life I always listen to, but it's crazy. So if you don't like it, you can ignore it. I say yes to everything. It is my personal philosophy. So if I have an opportunity, I love to go, yeah, I will try. I will try anything. You can, you know, for when it comes to job opportunities, if my boss says, hey, here's a new opportunity and I have no experience, okay, I'll try. Um, starting new clubs or what you are doing, I, I think for me, I learn by doing. Um, and I am always, always impressed and inspired by students who want to try something new, even if they fail. Failure is so important because it teaches us to try again and to be resilient and to come back. So if you have tried to start a new club, I think it is amazing and I think it's wonderful. And I would encourage every student to, to follow that, that lead and try, and try and do something new. I think it's, it's really brave to do that. Um, I don't Absolutely. know if that answers your question, but yeah, Chris. Catherine, well, I just wondered perhaps um, if I could turn your attention to the two uh, mm. questions that have been put in the chat there, and yep. perhaps that will help uh, answer any part of the, mm. for the, for the, uh, the question that was left open. Yeah, let's have a look. So how to inspire and influence others when I'm shy and bad at public speaking and working to improve, but really need, okay. So it's a really good question and public speaking is is really difficult and being shy can can feel like a bad thing but being shy is not a bad thing at all so if you are shy and you are quiet celebrate that it's really really important and it is a strength so for me i love public speaking you give me 1000 people i will talk 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 my confidence crazy but it does not mean what i'm saying is always good I need to learn to be quiet and I need to learn to listen. So understand that being shy is okay. It's a good thing. And so one thing that you might want to do when you are learning to public speak and you are worried about your shyness, start small. You know, don't try and stand up in front of the whole school to start with. Start with your family. Start with your best friend. Practice with a mirror. Um, but it is okay if public speaking feels difficult. It is meant to feel difficult. There are very few people in the world that are comfortable doing this. I'm one of them. It's strange. I don't know. But <laughs> um, please understand that being shy is a good thing. It is not a bad thing. Okay? We are all unique. Um, and your gift, probably you are an excellent listener. I am guessing, and that is a really, really important value, uh, 
a really important um, quality. So someone's also asked, um, I'm jealous with other people when they have achievement and they get better for me. How do I get rid of jealousness? Oh my goodness. Okay. This is a really honest and great question and I love it. And this is um, one of the hardest, it sounds strange to say, but a hard thing to do is celebrate the success of other people. Mm. Okay. Mm. Yet for me, particularly for women, I am looking at all of the women in here. Sorry, Chris. Sometimes when we see women succeed in business, we get jealous. It's crazy. I do not understand it. Um, we should empower everyone else around us. Um, so for me, jealousy, everything we do, everything we say is a reflection on us as human beings. So when you feel jealousy, that's okay. But try not to speak about it or try not to act on it. That is step number one, okay? Recognizing it. And the fact that you recognize it in yourself is really, really important because you're aware. And I think that's really a good thing. So feel it. When you feel it, stop. For me, and so I am a manager. I have, I think, about 40 or 50 people, staff who work for me. And this sounds weird to say. When my team, when my staff are amazing, when they are brilliant, my job is easier. And together we are brilliant. So I can be good, but if my teammate is also brilliant, we are better. All of us today, everyone giving answers together, we are so great. Imagine today if just one person was giving answers. Yeah, but like 70, 80 people giving answers, so much more powerful when we all shine. So for me, success, it's, it breeds success. Your success is another person. And the more we do this, the, the happier we can be. So for me, that's really, really, really important. Um, what do you do when you have no motivation? How do you get over it? Oh my goodness, I feel like this is my every day waking up. Um, <laughs> two things. I have to remember, I am so, so lucky to be here. I am so lucky to be alive. I am so lucky to be healthy. COVID right now should remind all of us what is important in life, our family and our health. We can look at the news right now and see Afghanistan the horrible stories in the news. We see people dying of COVID. Appreciation and thanks for our family and our health should be the motivation to, to get involved and do things. I don't know, Chris, if that's the same for you. I, I, I think, yes, absolutely. I'd like to add to that. I think sometimes um, uh, realising that the motivation has, has disappeared um, is okay only if you can accept that it's going to be a temporary thing and that motivation does come back when you're inspired mm. and not feeling motivated is also very situational and also very time bound. Mm. So it's easy not to feel totally mo motivated in the environment that we're all in right mm. now. So it's important to also uh, take care of yourself and feel okay with that. And Chris, there's a really fun question that makes me think of you. Did you ever learn German and how did you do it? So interestingly, Chris, if I asked you to introduce yourself and say something in German, please do. <laughs> Absolutely. Schönen guten Tag. My name is Chris. Ich arbeite an der Deakin University in Australien. Ich habe langzeitig in Deutschland gelebt, 15 mm. Jahren insgesamt in Berlin. And there then on go. top of that, I will say, uh, <laughs> So I just spoke to you in Japanese. Not so great. But for me, I studied a language in university. And I think, Chris, you studied in school. But for me, the only way to learn a language is to live there. So in, in university, I studied a language. My results, really bad. I moved to Japan. I worked and lived in Japan. Language happens. So, mm, but mm, I should mm. say, my husband, he is Vietnamese. He's from Vietnam. I cannot speak Vietnamese at all. It's so embarrassing. Some languages easier than others. Vietnamese, so difficult. Pronunciation. Mm, mm. Oh. I think those tips are really good, Catherine. And the other thing I'd add to that is uh, 
Um, I think learning a language is the most fun when the subjects that you're learning it from are interesting. They might be in your age bracket, for example. It might come through popular music in that language, things of that nature. It has to be fun. And the formality of a language like Japanese or German can kill the fun aspect. Yeah. Make True. it fun, get the excitement out of it, and and then it then yes. will really help. Language should be fun and pop pop culture, music, television shows, really great for your language skills. I learned Japanese mm. singing karaoke um, and watching Japanese TV shows. And I just mm. have to say there's the most amazing question in the chat, which is unrelated my dream is to become a pastry chef and to open my own bakery but my family doesn't really support it and and what would you do like what a, what an incredibly brave question to ask yeah. I love that yeah. you are asking that um and this is a really really common theme my husband when he grew up his mum and dad said you will be a doctor or you will be a lawyer he wanted to be a librarian which <laughs> was really different um look I think it is really important if you have a passion and you understand that passion, it is a gift because it is really hard to know what you want to do. Most students we speak to, like the very first question at the beginning, what kind of job do you want to do? Oh, I don't know. I'm not sure. If you know what you want to do, that is so lucky, you know, but pastry chef and cooking, that is going to be really challenging, but you have a passion for it. And I think like families put a lot of pressure on us and it can take time to get families to support. Um, I personally look, it's a, it's a really difficult question to answer. But for me, if you know that this is something you're passionate about and you want to do, um, have that dream and keep that dream. And it, it will always be there. It doesn't have to happen now. Maybe you go to university first and you study business. Um, and that gives you the business skills to then understand how to open your own pastry shop. Um, think about it that way. So, you know, I, I do think family support is really important, um, but trying to find a nice balance. Oh, we're at the time limit. Yeah. Mm. Sorry to zoom in here, but I think that we can answer one last question before we stop here. Uh, I, we have a very good question here. Mm. As I understand, when it comes to personal branding, you should start by finding your own values. I mm. think you, you often don't do it on your own, but mm. you also ask all the people who are close to you and do something like personal test on the yep. internet as well. What to do when I get to many different opinions about values of myself? Well, you should have more than one value. So if you've got lots, that's a great thing. If, you know, like, don't be afraid. Like, you know, the very first exercise where we asked you to pick three words, it's probably easy to pick 20 words. That's really good. I asked you to bring it down to three as a starting place. But the same thing with values, you can have a lot of these. I think my point is when it comes time to communicating with a future employer, it is about understanding the most important values for you. So, and thinking about the company and does the company or the job I want to do match my values? So if you know that your strongest values might be things like honesty, compassion, helping people is really important to me and education is really, really important to me. Um, Understanding those might make you think, well, working in teaching is actually a really great place for me to go. So you want the place where you work or what you're studying to match what your values are. But values are so broad. They can go across everything. Honesty is really important in the corporate world. It's really important in politics and government. Um, I think just understanding your values is, it's just, I, I'm asking you to learn to express it and to talk about it positively. Because so often when we speak to year 10, year 11, 12th grade students, it's very easy to start by saying, this is my hobby and I'm studying this and I like this and I like that. Let's go deeper. Let's talk about what's really important to you. Um, maybe, maybe that's an answer, I don't know. Thank you, Catherine, for that awesome answer. Uh, I know that I say that is the last question, but I saw that one person had raised her hand for a long time. Oh. It's too late. I think you, you can ask 
the you there? You can understand. Yes, I'm here. Okay. Uh, okay, so I have we can't uh, you hear you mute. I can't hear oh, there we go. Um, yep. can you hear me clear? Yep. Okay, so I want to ask how to build um, your personal branding online. I'm trying to say that yeah. professional one, not yeah. slight. Yep. Yeah. So in how first to of all, create that. yeah, I love that you're in San Francisco. That was my home in America for 12 years. So oh, I look at San Francisco there. Um, yeah, personal branding online is really important. So for us, when we hire people, we always look at you online. I am going to cyber stalk you for sure. I am going to look at your Facebook. I'm going to look at your Instagram. I'm going to try and find you. So in Australia, we use LinkedIn. LinkedIn is incredibly um, valuable when it comes to hiring people. It tells a lot about um, your employment background. So for us, what I would say for any person who's thinking about your brand online, when you're applying for a job, you want to Google yourself. If you haven't done it, Google yourself. On your Facebook, I don't want to see party photos um, you know make it respectful or make it private even better um, but also think about the context of what you're doing if you're a creative person if you're going into digital media for a career or if you're a designer I want to see a folio I want to see examples of your work so it all depends on the context of the job you're applying for but for me it's just really important that you google yourself first and understand what brand or image do I want my future employer to see. Um, so, you know, LinkedIn is really basic and really important for any job. So we have a lot of students in our faculty that are studying design and creative arts. They will often have their own blog or their own website or their own folio online. And that is really important for jobs in the creative space. Um, but please do review your social media and clean it up before you apply okay. for jobs <laughs> and your email address it's a really crazy thing but your email address if your email address is sexylady at gmail.com <laughs> please change it to your name um, very important thank you thank you thank All you good. so much yeah okay. Uh, thank you, everyone. So uh, I would like to say thank you to Miss Catherine and uh, Mr. Chris. Thank you, Miss Dang and Smith Fu for spending your time with us today. And I also would like to send my sincere thank you to 80 students because due to the limit of time, so we could not answer more questions. But if you have any questions, please feel free to email us at vntalent at Oh, sorry, vn at vntalent.edu.vn. We will connect to Miss Catherine and Mr. Chris in order to answer all of your questions. Okay, so uh, I believe that today lessons teach us so many informative information, right? You now know how to change your email, how to be uh, on the internet, and how to describe yourself as well. Okay, this is wonderful. And uh, thank you, everyone, for today. Thank you, everyone. Bye. Thank you. Bye bye, thank everyone. You. Lovely being here. Thank you. We really appreciate the time. Thank you. Thank you. Bye bye. Bye. Stay safe. Stay safe. Bye. <laughs> bye bye. I'm waiting for the student. <laughs> I will be the last one. Goodbye, everyone. Goodbye. Oh. <laughs> Don't worry, Katie. I'm still here, but my husband is making dinner and I can smell it. It smells really good. <laughs> <laughs> oh, there is That's still a student. Mm. Mm. There are still some students. Okay, goodbye, everyone. Take your time. Stay safe. Bye-bye. Have a sweet night. <laughs>